Yeah, just spun it in the queue. Um, just got some bunion nuts. Lifted some bunion nuts off a uh, pod that had dropped. So uh, I love these things. I love them raw. I love them salted. I love them cooked. I love them baked. Fair few different ways you can do them, but I'm just going to show you how I open them up. All right, boys. All right, men. Oh, just done a lawn. Uh, just bear with me for a bit here. Bear with me for a bit. I'm just uh, setting this up. I'm going to show you this. Now that was about oh, not even a half a pod. I'll show you what I do here. You don't need to be too more close than me than that. Actually, hang on, I'll just put that back up in under there. So it's probably... Oh, I've never done any. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Rightio, so there's your nut. A little bit shaky here as per usual, but I've had a little bit of a uh, calmer down this morning, so a little bit better. So there it is there. Yeah, it's nothing to get. Oh, I suppose up to 80 nuts out of a pod. Pod's as big as your head. It's got spikes all over it. They have been known to fall and kill cows. So they're dropping at the moment. Got these ones from the showgrounds. Uh, yeah, they're deadly. They're deadly. If they hit you on the head, you probably cave your skull in. So all I do, I've got a little bit of, um, little bit of indigenous heritage in me. So this is, this is how the ancestors used to do it. So just, as you can see, I've split that. And I've given that a bit of a split. Yeah, you just gotta watch it because you can bust your teeth on these bad boys. So then you have a look, you can clearly see it's in a, in a bit of a, uh, what would we say, a bit of a sheath. So here it is here, there's the, there's the bunion up. So you pull, you pull that off. And also, you split him open. And you can see some yellow, yellow shit in there. Core, I suppose you'd call it. Now I've been eating these things ever since I was a kid. Up here we used to go, see there it is there. A little tubular thing. Ready to eat. Absolutely bloody be Bloody beautiful. Bloody beautiful. Hey, there's a, I call them bunion nuts, I call them boing nuts. I have all sorts of names for them. But that's what you got. I love eating them anyway. They drop between uh, mid-January now. Bunion nuts drop any time between now or up to a week ago, so long as it's not a big heap of wind. Next month or so, so you've just got to steer clear of bunion nut trees. And if you hear them falling, it's best to always have a spotter and an escape route. Because if these things get you on the old noggin or the head, or the shoulder, we'll put it this way, if, they, if, you, if you didn't have a hat on, or you even had a hat on, they'd bust your skull probably. And if they didn't bust your skull, they'd parallax your spine. And if they hit you in the arm or the shoulder, they'd probably bust your shoulder, because they're not light. And bunion nut trees aren't a small tree, so they're coming from up pretty high. So there's me, uh, like I said, I'll show you this again. So I've split that. Split that. People might say, well, what are you doing that? You could wreck your teeth. Well, these teeth are six, 59 years old. So they're still going pretty good. A lot of people can't do that like that. But when we're out kids, growing up, you look at that, the sheaths come straight off. And when I give her a bit of a massage with me teeth, now see I've bitten a few ears off, so I think that um, <laughs> uh, I think that when you lamp onto an ear, it's a lot easier to bite an ear off than massage one of these up. And so 
So what we'll do now is we'll split that down again. There the guts is out of it. That yellow, it's distinctive. In she goes down the hatch. Two hour lawn this morning, Saturday. Just got home. After went to shave and picked up a few bunion nuts. And um, I thought, well, I'll get these bunion nuts. I can go home and have a few. And I might even have a beer just to wash them down. They got like a flowery taste to them. A lot of people can't stand them. More people, more people don't like them than like them. So I would say, if you're gonna like them to enjoy them, boil them up. And when, when you boil them up in salt water or water from, from if you're cooking a, um, if you're cooking a beef, um, a salted beef or anything like that, or just put a fair bit of salt in, boil them, and when they split open on the end through here, they're ready to eat. But you've got to eat, eat them within a few days. You can leave them sit in the salt overnight because um, it just sinks into them after they've split open. Um, that and that's probably more of a rubbery, rubbery taste chew, chew, to chew into. But uh, like I said, I've been eating these things since I was a little kid. We used to go bunion on hunting up here in Mullaney. We had our go-karts that we used to homemade, homemade go-karts. Mine had steel wheels on it so I could get sparks flying off mine of a night. They were about a foot and a half big wheels on the back. we get our billy carts going. They weren't go-karts, they were billy carts. And um, we'd load up with the shop, with the um, mum's clothes basket and that. And we'd go bunion on hunting, we'd come back and he who had the most bunion nuts won. The great collectors we were, most of the time we wouldn't get through them in the bunion nut season before they start to, what happens is they, start, with moisture they'll open up and then that that um, core starts to shoot out and it'll plant into the ground and there's your little bunion nut tree. Prickly bloody things, whenever you're around them, always wear boots and when you're manhandling a fair few of them, put leather gloves on. So I'm going to leave it that. Bunyan art eating on the black or bunyan art hunting, bunyan art eating on the black or range, Sunshine Coast. Keep into it. And uh, I will say, I think too, potentially, now this could be an old wives' tale, but potentially I think they uh, make you pretty virile and pretty towy. But you know, I don't know if that's true because I'm always towy. Sweno Mick from Sweno Mick. Hope you've enjoyed that. Give her the old thumbs up if you could and put a, um, put a bit of a story up or ask a few questions. And also, um, you know, that last little bit might be just a little story. Swan so Mick, have a nice day. I'm going to have a beer even though it's only one o'clock and I'm stuffed. Swan so Mick out.